I'm Cursing Mushroom, and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. What's up, Guardians? Cursing Mushroom here, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. So, guys, let's talk about the Crimson Exotic Hand Cannon. This thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Now, I'm going to say a few things and kind of go over a few things, and then I'm going to roll the stats, and then we'll get into some more gameplay. So, this weapon is unique in terms of the abilities that it has across the board, for whether it be for an exotic or a hand cannon in general. If everybody played Destiny 1, or if you remember in Destiny 1, the Red Death had similar traits. With that being said, let's get out of the old and in with the new. So the Crimson Hand Cannon, pretty much how it works is you get kills, it refills your magazine, and what I mean by refills your magazine is you don't use the bullets. Like, it doesn't just take from your reserves and put it back into your magazine, you do not use the bullets. So if you get a kill, your magazine is completely refilled and you do not lose any of those rounds. Also, it will heal you at the same exact time, which is really, 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 really cool, right? Very, very useful, okay? Also, this weapon, man, it's just so good. It is so good. <laughs> I can't get over it. But uh, there are some speculations. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I consider this weapon a good accent. And what I mean by that is... In terms of like running around free roam, you can use just this because you can pretty much one shot kill. Not what I mean by one shot is one trigger pull, three round burst to like the lesser ads. Now, if you go up against the yellow bar or anything like that, you're going to want to bring obviously another weapon and help take down his shields because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Don't let the whole, oh, it's amazing, fool you because the video clip I'm running now, it's actually um, a heroic event. I think it's 300 power uh, level, and it just doesn't do the damage that it needs to, but that's a good thing, because if it was any stronger, I mean, you could just only use this weapon. There would be no other weapon, because for one, if you get a kill on it, you've instantly got all your ammo back, and it heals you, you're unstoppable, right? So I get why it is the way it is. So if you see me shooting this add here it's it's not impossible to kill them right but it's not like oh my god so be mindful of that that's why i consider it as you know like your little like your little sidekick you know you want want to have a good um energy weapon or power weapon to kind of back it up and i like using the positive outlook energy auto rifle you can check the video above in the link or at the end of the video in the card for my weapon wednesday and check it out if you don't know what it is but it's a good energy auto rifle to keep with it. Now this video is my first use of this weapon, so I have never used it before, so I didn't know how it would perform. But if you notice how many shots it take, excuse me, how many shots it took just to damage, you know, <laughs> the gladiator. It's not killing him. So just be mindful of that. It's not the most damaging weapon that you will use. But with that being said, I'm gonna roll the stats and then we'll get back at it, okay? Roll the stats for me, buddy. Okay, so let's talk about the stats of the Crimson Hand Cannon Exotic. It has heavy grip. This grip is weighted for recoil control, increased stability, and decreases handling speed. It has cruel remedy as a trait. Kills with this weapon, heal the wielder. Precision kills also refill the magazine like I talked about. It's great, guys. Accurized rounds. This weapon can fire longer distances, increased range. Small bore barrel, dual strength barrel, increased range and stability, and then banned weapon. This weapon fires a three round burst. It is a kinetic. Its rounds per minute are 386. The magazine is 24. You've got great impact range stability, not too bad on handling, and reload speed is not bad either if you have to reload. But, at okay, so that's the stats of the Crimson Hand Cannon and the perks. What are you thinking so far? I'm thinking fan fucking tastic to be honest with you um it's great it'll get you out of some situations now i'm talking about pve right now we'll talk about pvp here shortly it'll get you out of some great situations um and absolutely just help you save yourself when you're almost done you know there was moments when me and my teammate were playing together and it simply kept me alive 
and that's doing what it should do. And that's why I like it as kind of like the sidekick, like we kind of talked about, because I'm not always using it, but I use it when I need to use it. Like currently I have low health, so I'm going to use it because it will help me regenerate my health when needed. But guys, I love it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get it as a drop because it's really worth it. It's fun. If you don't get it, hopefully R and Jesus can be with you. Now, let's talk about PvP for a second. I only played one match with it because I haven't had a whole lot of time. I've been trying to just get all this content. The content is just flowing into me like a tall glass of water um, filling up with agua. But, oh, it's just been great. It's too much content to handle, which is good. Good, 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 good. But PvP, okay, it's great. It's good. It does its job. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with it. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it is pretty good. Um, you know, as long as your enemy's not jumping all over the place, which kind of sucks because it's hard to keep it on them, you know, up and land all three of those precision shots like you want to. But guys, I'm going to roll some PvP here, just a little small portion so you can see it in action since you've seen it in action in PvE. And I'm going to play some music and let you come to a decision on yourself whether you want to grind for it or not, or if it's worth your time. You know, um, I know not everybody likes hand cannons, but it's it's a good one. I think most people can handle using this one because of the fact that it is a burst. It's got good range. It heals you. Um, it refills the magazine. It's all good things. Just be mindful that in-game content, it's not going to be as useful, in my opinion, just because of the amount of damage it, it doesn't do really. Um, in comparison to like basic ads and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying it's not useful because I'm using it in in-game content now. Um, it's just not as feasible for me as something else, but I will use it in areas that I know that I'm going to need health regeneration or like, for instance, inertia is on right now. That's the modifier. You know, when you, you're not running, you're not healing and it helps with that tremendously. So be mindful of that guardians. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little red bar to do so. And don't forget as well to hit the bell next to the red bar to be notified when I post new videos. Also, don't forget to share this with your friends. Friends don't let friends not get good guns in Destiny, okay? That's just how we roll. But like I said before, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great night, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. And... Let's roll the music and player versus player.